Stop the cap. Uh -huh. I don't even know where this cricket is. It's driving me nuts. Um, I don't even know how he got in here. But every so often, whenever I stop speaking, he decides that he wants to sing. <sighs> but anyway, um, somebody made a healthy donation. I'll call it that. See, there he goes. Somebody made a healthy donation, and you're going to have to pardon this cricket. But somebody um, basically wanted me to speak on uh, all the stuff that I was talking about with ancient Egypt uh, and basically do it in a rapid, short version um, so that they can share it with an Egyptian that they're having a debate about egyptology and this whole i figured everybody was over this shit with the cleopatra and this netflix documentary like i said um i don't think that they should have had this biracial woman play cleopatra because cleopatra was um you know of the ptolemaic dynasty which is a greek macedonian uh during the hellenistic period you know this is when uh, you know, the other groups, the invaders came into Egypt, you know, before the the Arabs in the seventh century, you know, it was the, uh, you know, Greeks and then the Romans, you know, so Egypt has been conquered several times. And that's what all of the quote unquote Afrocentric Egyptologists, if you want to call us that, you know, have been saying, I, I can't even believe I just said us because I'm not really. You know, I really wasn't focused on Egypt um, until because uh, I used to hate how, you know, we're, we're descended from West Africa. And I used to hate how you would have all these hoteps and they would talk about ancient Egypt. And I would be like, why are we talking about ancient Egypt? We're of West Africa. But then I realized just how much it's important to maintaining the system of white supremacy. And even when it comes to Egyptians you know, who, you know, by and large, uh, you know, hail from the Near East, you know, the the Levant, you know, today's Egyptian because of the Muslim Arab invasion. And they also identify, you know, as white people. And so the white people and the Egyptians have basically formed Voltron to maintain the system of white supremacy because white supremacy cannot exist on the concept or the idea that there was a black civilization that came long before the Europeans and then gave the Europeans all of their knowledge and all of their wisdom on how to build and how to do things. They can't have that. Now, me personally, I'm willing to entertain the idea that there was an even more, you know, ancient civilization, albeit black people, but that uh, something happened, some sort of cataclysm, and all that knowledge was lost. And we see this all around the world. And when we see these megalithic structures, um, we don't see any of the tools. Um, a lot of the, you know, the peoples that come after, you know, you see, what's supposed to happen is when you go back in time, you should see more primitive things versus when you go, you know, uh, forward in time, you should see more advanced things. But when you look at, you know, ancient megaliths around the world and you look at, you know, societies that come, you know, later, you know, you know, the oldest structures seem to be the most advanced. And then over time, you know, there's like this degrading of the quality of the craftsmanship, which, in my opinion, hints at the idea that that knowledge, for whatever reason, cataclysm, asteroid hit the Earth blotted out the sky whatever it may have been killed the crops killed the animals people starved whatever may have happened uh that information was lost okay it's just like today you know we drive around in cars and you know we fill up our gas tanks but if you ask anybody how does a combustion engine actually work nobody knows right so if there was a nuclear war or nuclear fallout or something like that and cars, you know, nobody was pumping the oil anymore. You couldn't go to the gas station. Then cars would just be, you know, on the side of the road and we'd walk past them like, you know, it was uh, the Walking Dead or uh, 
you know, what's another, uh, what's that video game, The Last of Us, you know, type of zombie apocalypse, The Road, you know, the, if you ever saw that movie, you know, that's what it would be. So whatever this ancient technology is or was, you know, I think that it got lost over time. Uh, I think that's rather self-evident. But again, since, um, you know, we don't have any evidence that, you know, the ancient civilizations were, you know, taught by, you know, the sky, the sky gods and the Anunnaki and whatever else people want to throw up, you know, uh, you know, we're going to stick to the reality that, uh, um, you know, that it was black people, the people who lived there, uh, that were the ones that built, uh, you know, the pyramids and, and, and somehow that information got lost. Like I said before, when it comes to the pyramids, you know, the temple of the, what is it? The temple of the sun or something like that in, in Mexico, when it comes to the pyramids in Mexico, nobody questions who built the pyramids in Mexico. Only when it comes to ancient Egypt, oh, it couldn't, couldn't have been those black people. Uh, but getting into, you know, a rapid run through of, you know, some of the, uh, some of the, the, the highlights, the talking points about ancient Egypt. Uh, to try to make a shorter version, I'm already at six minutes, so I already wasted a little bit of your time. Um, where do we begin? Uh, first part, uh, the origin of the Nile. The Nile starts in Uganda, and I believe it's, I think, Uganda and Democratic Republic of the Congo. You know, those that, that mountain range. Uh, that's where the Nile originates, and the Nile flows up towards the Mediterranean. Um, the, you know, what the Egyptians are trying to say is that civilization started in the Delta and then it moved south, as opposed to being in the south, upper Egypt, and then moving north. Um, and again, if you look at um, the, you know, each, you know, if you look at Egypt rolling into Sudan, right, again, Sudan has some 200 pyramids. There's no pyramids in the Levant. There's, you know, you got the pyramids in, in, in Giza, but, you know, that, uh, you know, that development, you know, you don't see, uh, you know, with the step pyramids. And yes, I know the pyramids in Sudan are different. They're, they're you know, um, pointier. Right. But how come we don't see pyramids in the Levant if if Egyptians are trying to say that the culture of ancient Egypt came from the Near East? That's not what we see. Um, what's the other thing about, oh, the language, uh, when it comes to the people that claim that ancient Egypt was a near Eastern civilization, why would the near Eastern people come up with a pictographic language that depicts animals and fauna that are quote unquote sub-Saharan African? Why would they choose that? You know, because in the hieroglyphs, they have uh, animals that are indigenous to Africa, not indigenous to the Near East, not indigenous to the Levant. You know, animals like, you know, Nile crocodiles, Nile hippos, um, uh, baboons, um, monkeys, uh, uh, giraffes, um, uh uh, freaking, uh, what else? Rhinoceros. Uh, I mean, I mean, elephants, you know, all these animals are sub-Saharan African animals. And so when people are going to come up with a pictographic language in order to communicate with each other, most of the time people are going to use, you know, what is f familiar with them. Not even most of the time, all the time they're going to use what's familiar to them. They're not going to use things that they don't know about because they're not from that region. So the la the hieroglyphs alone Black African language, Black African, uh, 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 you know, script, you know, pictographic you know, script. So, you know, right there, I mean, by and large, I could end the conversation there. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll dive even more. The other thing, um, this whole concept of sub-Saharan Africa, right? 15,000 years ago, let's just say, um, the the you know, North Africa was, was more tropical. And then it went to like a Sahel and then it went down, you know, into what it is today, which is the desert. 
which means that sub-Saharan Africa, what people like to call sub-Saharan Africa, the line for it was much further north, which means you had more black African people in that region. Okay, when the when the when the desert of desertification happened, you know, whatever it was at the you know beginning of the Holocene, at the end of the Younger Dryas and the beginning of the Holocene period, um, you know, obviously over time, those areas dried up. I mean, you see this right now going on with the shrinking of Lake Chad and it used to be Lake uh, uh, Mega Chad, which was even, you know, you know, whatever they say, like 50 times bigger however big it was. And then not only that, you go over to Bright Insight and he's got all these ancient maps, which are probably copies of previous ancient maps that that show rivers flowing through what is now the Sahara, right? I'm not getting into all that Atlantis stuff and the Rechot structure and all that, but I'm saying there's rivers flowing through there, there's cities and all of the type of stuff that we know is not there today. You, you don't see it today, right? But... Um, you know, again, that only further reinforced. Why would somebody draw a map with a whole bunch of rivers going through the Sahara if at some point there weren't rivers going through the Sahara? On top of the fact that they've already done LIDAR, you know, studies and, you know, uh, you know, flying over, you know, the Sahara and they can see ancient river beds and 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 uh, uh, um, lake beds and stuff like that. So at some point in time, you know, that was. Uh, you know, fertile and 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 it was water, right? And again, even with the with the the paintings on the wall, you know, with the animals and the giraffe. Giraffe is not a is not a camel. It doesn't function in the desert, right? So clearly, in those areas where they have these big giraffe monuments, you know, that what was there, what you see in Kenya, where the giraffe are walking around, it had to look like that at some point, which clearly we can see. It doesn't look like that. So, again, these 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 Arab and white Egyptologist timelines are way off. They go, oh, you know, and the pyramid of Kufr was built 6,000 years ago. You, you don't know that. You know what I mean? You can't carbon date stone, right? So so the, their timelines are off because they're trying to align it with, with, you know, the Bible and they're trying to align it with, you know, all this Eurocentric centered stuff. And it just simply doesn't align. Black people are the most ancient people on the planet to sit there and argue that civilization didn't start with them. On top of the fact that even when you go through stuff like Herodotus and, you know, him saying ancient Kemet was black people, you know, like all of a sudden, you know, the Europeans want to ignore all of, you know, their ancient scholars. They take the word of, you know, any other any other day of the week. But then when it comes to ancient Egypt, even though they're saying ancient Egypt was black, they want to say, oh, no, 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 no. They didn't mean black in that sense. They, you know, they start, you know, trying to play with the words. All right. Um, and then not only that, like, again, even when you get to the Renaissance, because I think those maps were copies of copies. And in terms of who brought knowledge into Europe, you know, again, you know, pass down information because right if if you're going to say that ancient Egypt or or people are going to say ancient Egypt was this near eastern levantine civilization right then then why is it when it came to the renaissance and the depictions of even the, 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 the nevity what is it nevity you know the the birth of Jesus how do you say that you know the, the the those those depictions those renaissance images always show the, the the black person coming there with a chalice, they typically have a crown on their head, right? Th these are symbols of respect, right? Why was the black man respected when I go back to the, you know, the, 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 the 13th century and the 14th century? Why were they respected then, right? But they're not respected now, right? Once, you know, slavery and all that other stuff took place and they had to, you know, redefine things. You know, personally, I think, to a, on a side note, to a, to a degree that... Um, you know, black people, you know, are hated in the European world because at one point black people, you know, were the ones that were in charge or had the power or had the knowledge and they fear that. And I think a lot of the secrets are buried way down, you know, in the Vatican and they don't want people to have access to that information. You know, again, I ask, why is there an obelisk? Why is there a pagan symbol in the middle of Vatican City? 
Why? Why? What? Why? I mean, again, the, the this this whole concept of of a symbol of power that came straight out of the continent of Africa. Okay. Um, the other thing, you know, the 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 location of Egypt is on the it, Egypt. The, the you know the country is between the twenty second parallel and the thirty first parallel on the globe, right? That perfectly aligns with. Florida and Louisiana, right? And we know how hot Florida and Louisiana are in the summertime, right? So so you can imagine how hot it is in Egypt. And whenever you see the depictions of ancient Egyptians and how they depicted themselves, right? They're always walking around with no shirt on. I brought this point up before. And you get these Arab, uh, pale-skinned, white-skinned uh, Egyptians that love to run around and say we're the original Egyptians, but yet even me as an African-American descendant of West Africa, if I go and I tell them to take their shirt off and let's stand out in the sun for an hour, okay, they're going to need some SPF 2000. So if the ancient Egyptians were walking around in the fields, cutting the wheat, I mean, again, there's there, plenty of images all around and they're brown skinned. You know what I mean? The, the, the Arab Egyptians try to play this game. Oh, they're copper skin. They're this skin. They're that. They try to play all these games with it. At the end of the day, they cannot take their shirt off and stand in the Egyptian sun, despite the fact that they're claiming that they're the original Egyptians. But yet my black ass can take my shirt off, walk around Egypt like it's nothing. And 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 somehow they want to, you know, call me an Afrocentrist. It, I mean, it, it, the whole thing is nonsense, uh, uh, you know, what they throw up, not to mention the hairstyles of the um, of the ancient Egyptians that we can clearly see the ways that they in which they depicted themselves. You can still see these hairstyles with some of the nomadic peoples that are still roaming around, uh, uh, you know, the Sahara in North Africa with the. Um, uh, what was the 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 Toreg was it is it the Toreg peoples and whatnot? You know, wearing the head the headdresses with all like the little jewelry and stuff, just like you see in the pictures with the ancient Egyptians, right? So some of that residual culture was still maintained, but when the area dried up and the lakes and the riverbeds dried up, dried up, you know, again, giraffe didn't go extinct, hippos didn't go extinct, right? Nile crocodiles didn't go extinct. No, they all just moved further south where things were lush and green. And that's what they did. And the people followed the animals, you know, because the animals are not dumb. They're not going to sit there and, oh, the water dried up. I guess I'll stay here. No, they're going to go with, you know, wherever the rains are, wherever the water is. That's what they're going to that's what they're going to go. That's why you have these great migrations of water buffalo. You know, they follow the monsoons and, and, and things like that. So um, um, what else was I going to say about, oh, oh yeah, even the, the body type. Like I was looking up King Tut and, and, and looking how King Tut depicted himself. Not this bullshit that they did with National Geographic and showing you this weird, you know, Caucasian looking man. Uh, uh, and not only that, when you look at the, they did a CT scan of King Tut. And when you look at King Tut's physique, when you look at the way that he's built, he has, I don't, I don't know if it's called a nilotic built or so I've served, some people call it a tropical build, you know, but it's an African build, which means Africans, the, the way that our body is distributed is that we tend to have longer limbs, right? uh to i don't know distribute heat that's like the whole the whole concept they've already done studies you can go and you can look it up type african build or the way that african people are built versus europeans you know europeans other groups asians they tend to have stockier builds right because they don't have to dissipate heat like black people do right um same thing with the, the this, you know our wide nostrils and Europeans have long pointy noses because they live in, you know, more temperate climates and they have winters and the longer, you know, pointier nose is for, you know, breathing in through your nose and warming the air. African air is already warm. So African peoples don't need to have long pointy noses. They have, oh, you know, flared nostrils. And you'll see the same thing in, in Southeast Asia. OK, but I'm saying, um, you know, when you look at the build of. Uh, Tutankhamun, you know, I mean, he's he's got that that 
standing up, you know, the joke of, you know, standing up and scratching your knees at the same time, like his, like his arms are literally almost touching his knees, right? And you'll see that type of build with, you know, Nilotic people. You'll see that with the Dinka tribe, not saying that he's of the Dinka tribe, you know, I'm saying that he is of the Negro race, you know, and then, then, then you got the other stupid thing that people try to throw up where they try to act like any person that is black, you know, has to have this sort of, you know, Niger, Congo, Bantu, you know, sort of look. They got to look like Idia Amin, which is ridiculous because there's tons of East Africans, whether they're in Sudan, whether they're in Ethiopia, whether they're in Somalia, that don't have uh, uh, the, 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 the West African uh, uh, phenotype, yet they are still black. So, you know, whether you want to talk about the Afar people, um, I mean, just go Google these people, you know, Google East Africans uh, and, and you will recognize that they don't all don't look like Wesley Snipes. So when when e when these Arabs and these Egyptians try to make these sort of, you know, haha, you know, this person doesn't look like Wesley Snipes, even though there are kings that could be pointed to that look like Wesley Snipes and had bell pepper noses or wide flared noses and whatnot, even though most of the statues just so happen to have all the noses busted off. So we can't really uh, tell uh, specifically, you know, what their ethnicity was. But I'm just saying you know, there's East, there's East Africans with straight hair, hair that's like a, a quote unquote European or like an Arab, but yet they still have, you know, black skin. Uh, again, like to try to make black people this, 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 this monolith, you know, it, 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 I mean, it's just, it's, it's intellectually dishonest point blank period. And, you know, Talking about phenotype, that's another thing that really gets on my nerves. Because I see this doing this thing. You got this woman, and she's trolling. That Egyptian chick, she calls herself the Kemet Queen. She came on with another name, and she changed it, you know, because, you know, she wants... To, I don't know. She's just a racist Arab chick. But uh, she's been putting out, all, you know, all this... All this... Um, you know, all this content. And damn, what was I going to say? It just, it just slipped my mind. Hold on a second. Oh, I remembered... Yeah. And like, again, what these Arab Egyptians do all the time, whenever they, 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 I don't know where they get these, like, it's like a packet of pictures, right? And it's of literally the whitest Egyptians that they could find, completely ignoring all the thousands of uh, uh, depictions of black Egyptians that can easily be found all over the Internet. Even when it comes to Tutankhamun, even when it comes to uh, 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 Tutankhamun's uh, 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 grandmother, which was um, which was uh, Queen T. I mean, it, it, I mean, the bust of Queen T. I mean, you can't get any more black than that. But yet, you know, they want to come up with some type of you know uh, our argument, and then want to go with this National Geographic picture. Of King Tut, instead of ignore, instead of uh, 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 recognizing or acknowledging how King Tut, you know, depicted himself in several images of King Tut, like it's like they think that people don't go to the museums or see the images that are all over the internet. You don't even have to go to the museum, but yet they'll show you these these Hellenistic, you know, uh, New Kingdom you know, which is the, which is the latest period of Egyptians after all of the conquest, after, you know, they came in and, and then, you know, the, the Greeks and the Romans and then the, the Arabs, right? Because again, if, if Egypt was this dominant force and other people were, you know, coming and going as they please, like, again, America is, is after wiping out the Native Americans, America is a white dominated society. But if I go to New York, which it would be reflective of ancient Kemet, I'm going to see all different type of nationalities and, and groups of people there. But the overwhelming majority of people in New York are white people. I think that it's white people. I need to double check. It might be, you know, for, you know, 40 percent something else or whatever, or 40 percent minority and 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 60 percent white people. But I'm saying white people, there's 220 million white people in America and there's only, you know, what, what 40 million African-Americans, 41 million African-Americans. 
something like that. And then all the other groups, you know, are, are, are less than there's more African-Americans in America than there are the entire population of Canada, which I believe last time I checked is 37 million. So there's more black people in America than there are, um, you know, Canadians in, in, in all of Canada. Is, isn't that interesting? Right. But um, no, they they just I, I, I've seen so many of them do this crap. You know what I mean? And then, and then they act like they stand there with these like smug ass, you know, reactions acting like, you know, I don't learn you something like, huh? They don't even, bro, they don't even make any, like, so you're just going to ignore all of these. Or they sickly go, oh, those are Nubians, those are Nubians. Oh, oh those are Nubians. They, 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 you know, we acknowledge, oh, you know, during the 18th dynasty, you know, the blacks, you know, they took over and whatnot. But, you know, we, we, had, to, we had to cast them out, right? Or they'll do, they'll try to do slick ass shit. And I've already, you know, shown it before. They'll show you pictures of, you know, uh, clearly uh, black African slaves, right? that are further south right but then they won't show you the 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 uh captured uh um you know assyrian populations they won't show you that and they won't call them slaves either right if they do if they do recognize those photos those oh they're just prisoners but whenever it comes to black people and you see black people in bondage so either they're automatically slaves again this goes into the racism and the white supremacy you know of it all Right. As I've said before, you know, when, when especially white people try to absolve themselves of the guilt of, uh, you know, uh, chattel slavery, which is what the transatlantic slave trade was. And they want to bring up, oh, there was slavery all around the world, like this crap that they're trying to teach, you know, students in Florida. Uh, uh, chattel slavery and the slave, way that slavery was done in ancient times are two totally different things. That whole concept of, you know, you will be a slave in perpetuity and all of your children will be slaves and you're not even a human being and you're reduced down to being, you know, basically a farm animal is not how slavery was done, you know, throughout the the ancient world. It was due it was done to as prisoners of war, it was done to uh, you know, to uh pay off debts. Um and what was the other one? There was another one. Oh, uh, for those who were criminals, that's how it was done. And people could, you know, uh, uh, you know, be freed, you know, at some point through various means, you know, but again, ancient times did not have, if you went to war with another group of people, there was no maximum security prison to send you to. Okay. You would become a slave. You would be in bondage or you would be executed. Like how Vlad the Impaler, you know, uh, you know, had all those images of Vlad the Impaler, where the story of Dracula comes from, you know, had all them white people, uh, uh, you know, with state, you know, stuck on, you know, stakes just hanging in the air to terrorize, I believe it was the Turks and keep them from coming into his territory. Right. You know, just bodies hanging around on some Braveheart shit. Like when they went into that barn in that scene and they go and they go in the barn and everybody's just hanging there dead and everything. Yeah. Leaving leaving their bodies up there to rot as a sign. Don't fuck with us. OK, uh, so it, when people try to put, you know, use, you know, uh, the arguments about slavery in in a modern context and then apply it to how it was applied in ancient times is completely erroneous but again that's what white people do because they're trying to absolve themselves of the, the of the white guilt that they have for the horrendous horrors of uh american chattel slavery is there anything else that i missed i don't know i'm at i'm at 28 minutes which is much shorter than the hour plus long videos that i did before on egypt but i think i've touched on pretty much you know every uh topic and concept that i can think of to counter these narratives of the you know these ideas of um uh the, you know the the arab the arab egypt you know did other people come into the region yes was there climate change and black people left or they were avoid avoiding you know with the fluctuations of power yes you know was there intermarriage was there you know inter i don't say interbreeding but you know did that go on yes you know oh i remember the other thing that i wanted to say um but anyway i was saying let me let me finish the thought yeah but overall you know ancient egypt ancient Kemet was a black civilization 
Um, but the other thing that I wanted to touch on, uh, especially even when it came to King Tut, uh, is I was reading something that were saying that he had avascular necrosis of the hip and he possibly had club foot. Avascular necrosis of the hip is something that is common. You'll see it in, in textbooks. You know, if you're studying for step one, you'll see it in textbooks, uh, w which has a relationship to sickle cell anemia. And basically, sickle people with sickle cell, uh, you know, they can have what's known as sickle cell crisis, where their cells, sickle, uh, sickle cell anemia, or excuse me, sickle cell trait is an adaptation against malaria. And what happens is that the red blood cells sickle and they basically trap, you know, the um, malaria falciparum inside of the, the red blood cell. Right. And then, um, you know, essentially they can't, you know, do their thing in the body. But um, when it comes to uh, a, a sickle cell crisis, basically the, the people that they, 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 I mean, we've talked about this before. Uh, where they're in tremendous amounts of pain because they get what's known as vascular occlusion, which means that the sickle cells kind of traffic jam in the blood vessels and oxygen, you know, their, their ability to carry oxygen is diminished and oxygen is not getting to the peripheral tissues. So they have um, severe pain, you know, in their hands. And so um, there's uh, certain areas of the body where you can get infarction the spleen is one of them because most people who have uh sickle cell disease will have auto infarct of the spleen usually around seven years old and then there's also avascular necrosis of the hip which is which because the 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 hip the um the ball and socket of the hip has limited blood supply and what ends up happening is you know there's so many infarcts that the the bone tissue begins to die and once it dies it's necrotic it can't heal there's no blood supply and basically the person will have hip problems i knew somebody who had um sickle cell anemia and he walked with a limp and he walked with a limp because he had avascular necrosis of uh you know the hip joint and i think he was they cured him of sickle cell anemia because he was given um, what the heck was he given? Uh, a, a bone marrow transplant, because that's basically the only way that you can, you know, get rid of it because, you know, your, your bone marrow produces, you know, that it's in your DNA. It produces, you know, red blood cells that will sickle. So, um, you know, there's other traits that are associated with malaria. I think G6PD deficiency, uh, you have thalassemia. That's another one. But I went online and I looked up, you know, they, they, they pulled some mummies that, and they got to do more studies with the mummies. They talk all this DNA this and DNA that. And there's funny stuff that goes on with the DNA. You know, when they do the DNA, they'll pull like mummies from the New Kingdom or later periods or mummies from regions that had high uh, populations of uh, uh, Romans or Greeks that were there. And obviously you're going to get more near Eastern DNA, or you're going to get Mediterranean DNA in those populations. Right. Um, you know, when it comes to, uh, what was it? Lake Nasser, I think it was Lake Nasser, you know, where, uh, the, the, um, what was it? The, you know, the statues in, I believe it was Luxor, Egypt. They flooded that whole area where the Nubians are, you know. So, you know, there's untold amount of stuff that was lost, you know, due to that. And then not only that, but even when it came to Tutankhamun, Tutankhamun's people are from, you know, I believe it's uh, Luxor or, or Thebes, one of the two, uh, which is further south. It's not, you know, from you know, the, the Nile Delta. And again, you just look at the way that, you know, um, um, Tutankhamun, you know, was depicted, you know, in, in, in his own period of time and how he depicted himself and how he depicted his family members, right. Or how his family members were depicted. I, I don't know where National Geographic or any of these whites or, or Arabs, you know, jump up and sit there and be like, they look, he looked like us, like, no, the hell he didn't. And like I said, you know, if they're saying he had, you know, avascular necrosis of the hip, 
then chances are he also had sickle cell trait or sickle cell disease. And therefore, you know, that would signal that he was from, you know, or of African origin. Because even if I Google, I type in, you know, Sudan, it's something like 20 to 20 to 30 percent of the population of Sudan has sickle cell trait. But then when I go to the Near East, it's like one to three percent. So 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 all I got to do is dig up the, the, the mummies, you know, uh, take some bone marrow core samples and determine whether the person had sickle cell trait or not. And that'll hint at the direction of, again, sub-Saharan African peoples, right? Even though back then we would argue that sub-Saharan, the sub-Saharan definition wasn't a thing. But again, all of the evidence that I presented leans more towards that, you know, this was a, you know, an ancient black civilization. And, you know, again, all of this is just tied to you know, white supremacy or Arab supremacy cannot stand on the idea that, you know, black people came before them and black people, you know, were the ones that, you know, blessed Western civilization uh, with knowledge and how to build and, you know, how to be civilized and all that other stuff. Their whole argument falls apart, just like Dr. Zayas, you know, in Planet of the Apes when Charleston Heston threw him the talking doll. You know what I mean? Like, oh, and he's got and and he had dentures and 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 he and he wore bifocals. You know what I mean? And then pulled the string on the or the or the girl that he was with pulled the string on the doll. And the doll was like, mama, right? And Doctor Zayas, he knew the whole time. You know, Doctor Zayas and Doctor Zahi Hawass are the same freaking person. They're literally the same person. I don't know how many times I got to say this. You know, like I mean, I mean, it's funny how you know. Planet of the Apes is 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 an allegory of racism and in, in, in America. And that's really what it's about. It's about black people, but it's funny how just how much that last scene in Planet of the Apes before they went and they saw the Statue of Liberty is identical to this situation with uh you know ancient Egypt. The further down they they dig, the further down they go, the blacker it gets. You know, and 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 again, you know, Zahi Hawass and 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 took antiquities and all that other stuff. You know, they they keep all that shit a guarded secret, block shit off. Oh, you can't come here, you can't come. Instead of just leaving it open, you know what I mean? Like people are seeking the truth. They're not trying to, you know, go in there. Not at this point. Not at this point. You know what I mean? You get totally discredited. That whole thing of what people were trying to do, you know, in the eighteen hundreds and phrenology and. All those sorts of ideas that they were trying to do. I mean, they tried to do it with Angkor Wat. The guy went all the way to Cambodia. There was some French guy. He went all the way to Cambodia, saw the the Angkor Wat, you know, uh, monuments in Cambodia, and then tried to claim that this was a an ancient civilization of Caucasians. Like literally tried to claim that halfway around the world in in Cambodia. You know, and 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 Angkor Wat, quite as cat, it ain't even that old. Like Angkor Wat, I think was built in like they say it was built in the 15th century in Cambodia. So it's not even that old. So here you got, you know, in the in the in the 1500s when when uh, you know I don't even when was when was when was, when was Notre Dame built? When was when was Notre Dame? When was Notre Dame Dame built? Let me see. I know I'm going over time, but, you know, hopefully this is true. When was Notre Dame built? Why is this shit taking so long? <clears throat> Damn, this thing is slow. Come on. I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on right now. Notre Dame built. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, wait, let me turn this off. Notre Dame was built. Oh, it's a pretty old building. It, it, it began in 11, 1163 and it ended in 1343. You know, so it is older. Ah, Notre Dame is older than what was in Angkor Wat, I think. When was Angkor Wat built? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me double check. When was Angkor 
Watt built. Let me see. What is this going to say? Is a massive complex. Da 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 da. Okay, so now nah, actually around the same time, eleven thirteen to eleven fifty is what they say. Chimera, the Chimera Empire. But anyway, yeah, the guy went down there and was like, "Yeah, this is built by ancient Europeans." <laughs> I mean, just trying to take the credit for everything. You know, back then, you know, they were trying to you know, come up with, you know, Eurocentric justifications. That's the funny thing, how African-Americans, like, we get accused of being Afrocentric when clearly there's been a concerted effort to deny uh, uh, the, 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 the greatness, you know, of civilization that black people brought to the world in order to, you know, boost up, you know, uh, uh, white supremacy when literally, you know, Eurocentrism is what white people have been running around, you know, pushing, you know, since since ever since they stepped out of Europe. That's that's the funny part, right? Um, you know, trying to counter, you know, these these narratives, these lies that they put out there, you know, uh, to to bolster their idea of their own racial superiority. Like I said before, white people's uh, white people's ingenuity is only equivalent to their savagery but they don't want to own that part and then my last point is you know people will say and i think i wanted to mention this at the beginning of the video but i didn't get a chance to but because i moved forward but you know you'll have you know people will say you know well if you're of west african descent why is ancient egypt important to you if ancient egypt is in you know northeastern you know africa uh, for the same reason that uh uh, Greece and Rome are important to pretty much all of your all Europeans. I mean, again, it, white people didn't even incorporate Italians into whiteness until after the man with the funny mustache discovered the greatness of Rome and then uh, copied it for his own empire in Germany. Right? They didn't even acknowledge it. Remember, you know, they came here, Sacco and Vincetti and. You know, the, 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 the first, you know, gun laws that were created in New York, I think, revolved around, you know, keeping uh, guns out of the hands of those, you know, evil Italians. Um, so, you know, it's just it's just funny how once they're like, oh, the, oh, it's a great civilization. Oh, look at this. Look at what we've discovered. Look at the oh, Pompeii. Oh, look at this. Right. Then they want to claim it, you know, for the entirety of Europe and then center that as you know, the beginning of civilization and Socrates and Pythagorean theorem, right? You know, I mean, I mean the Pythagorean theorem is a, is a joke when we know that Pythagoras got Pythagorean theorem from ancient Kemet. He went there to study. So again, you know, the, 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 the reality of having an ancient black civilization come before White civilization undermines this, the core, the core of the concept of white supremacy. And so, you know, this is where they want to keep black people in the dark and they want to make sure that black people don't, you know, you know, uh, do the research, do their due diligence, you know, just, you know, listen to these narratives. And again, you know, uh, black people, as Dr. Hendrick Clark has always told us, we don't have any friends. The, the white folks and the Arabs and the white Arabs and everything, they team up. You know what I mean? They, they, they see themselves as, as one and the same. They just have a different orientation in terms of religion. But they still see themselves as white people overall. Until, you know, we get into like the nitty gritty of some shit. Until, until an Egyptian is in France, then all of a sudden, you know, he's something else. Right? When he's in Europe. But, um... But whenever it comes to them forming Voltron on black people, oh, yeah, they'll do that shit in a heartbeat. And then they'll go back to having their differences but amongst each other once, you know, we're done away with or we're out of the room. And this, and this, is, this is what is done. That's why black people got to be more hip to the game, you know, when it comes to this. But like I said, all I used in these discussions, all I used was logic. You know what I mean? I don't need, you know, Zahi Hawass or some Egyptian, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, fake Egyptologist running around, you know, just just either being intellectually dishonest or just throwing around just nonsensical things to tr because they, Egypt is for Egyptians. Nonsense. It's nonsense. 
It's nonsense. They're invaders. They came there later. And, and, and again, I was watching that other video where the brother said point blank period. Like their attitude is, yeah, well, we're here now. We're going to claim it for ourselves. You all lost it. It's not yours anymore. You're not even the dominant population here. So like, you know, what are you going to do about it? And and that's their that's their stance on it. But that still doesn't change the fact that that is not, you know, their their background. That is not their ancestry. You know what I mean? Like it's, it just it, it just blows my mind. Like I said, it's like it's like Europeans coming to North America, eradicating the Native Americans, and then having museums and then showing pictures of or 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 or, or what do we call it? You know, showing you know, um, damn, what is it called in the museums? You know, displays of teepees and broken you know uh, arrowheads and 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 bow and arrows and stuff and 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 you know, headdresses of feathers and saying these were ancient Europeans. Like, like that's literally what the Egyptians are doing, you know? And, and I get it. Yeah. Egypt is fantastic and it's great and everybody wants to claim it. But, you know, again, the, the evidence is, is literally staring them in the face and that reflection that they see isn't them. They just want to go to later periods of Egypt they don't want to go to they don't want to go to the old kingdom. They don't want to touch the old kingdom. Oh no. Oh no. Cause some of them bust and some of them heads have already been found. And you can clearly see that the depictions and the faces and the heads are a Negroid. But no, nah, they please. They 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 want to tell you about the Hellenistic period. They want to tell you about the Ptolemaic dynasty, right? And and all of this sparked off because of, you know, the Cleopatra. I mean, this has been an issue for a while, but all this really sparked off because of that Cleopatra uh, uh, situation. And I'm looking at the time. I already know I went over time, but, you know, I can't help it. You know, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm just so jam packed with facts, you know, that I can't I can't help it. I don't want to miss anything, you know, so um, I mean, this is just the the Blitzkrieg version of the videos I already did. I'm not going to put the pictures and the images. You can Google this stuff as I say it and look up the images, you know, look up. Uh, what is it? It's like the King King Tut, the Blossom Head. I was watching some some white some white woman. She's like she's like pushing back. She even disabled her comments. This shit got so bad. But she's just talking about the racism in Egyptology. And, and you know, she was calling it out, you know, as as a white woman. And she got, you know, all into the details of you know, you know, privilege and being a white person and how there's no African-Americans and classical Egyptology and how you have to know how to speak German and French and all this other stuff, you know, and, and how uh, basically a lot of it is tainted because the, the original Egyptologists, because, again, the Arabs never gave a shit about the Egypt, the Egyptians. They didn't give a shit about uh, why, why is it a white man's got to come into Egypt and discover all that shit. Unlike in West Africa, where they just came in and the ben, Benin bronzes were, were all on display and taking pride, and they just came in there and, and, and took the shit, right? After, you know, uh, coming in there and conquering and, and killing a bunch of people. Where when it came to ancient Egypt and the Arabs that were there, you know what I mean? That shit was buried up, the, to, the Sphinx was buried up to his name, take pride in that shit. That wasn't because it was never their civilization. It was the area that they moved into. So, you know, and, and I'm just, just it's hilarious watching them just make stuff up, you know, about, um, you know, ancient Egypt and, 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 and what they think they know and, 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 and all this wrestling that they're doing with the with the Europeans and whatnot. But there's been a couple honest Europeans that have said point blank. Ancient, and I put a couple of them on community tab. Ancient Egypt was a black, was rooted in a black civilization, and over time, whether it was conquest, whether it was trade, you know, whether whatever it was, you know, um, you know, the, the people got watered down, and they mixed, and they mingled, and 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 people moved and migrated, and the, the climate changed, and all that other shit. I mean, you're talking. You're talking anywhere from, you know, 15,000 to, you know, you know, 10,000 years ago. Like this is what these are. These are the type of periods you're talking about. And it might even go even further back than that. 
Because personally, I think that you see the problem is everybody's got these this biblical six thousand year timeline. That everything that we know about modern civilization and humanity is within the six thousand year you know period, right? Which literally means like everybody was walking around as a caveman on some ooga booga shit, and then out of nowhere we got all this knowledge, right? And 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 suddenly. You know, people are out here building pyramids and whatnot. No, I think, again, I think that at some point in time, you know, th there was, a cat you know, a cataclysm and all that information was lost, which is why uh, later periods of civilizations, you don't see them with the same level of skill as the newer, excuse me, as the older, you know, periods uh, in history. And this is around, this is all around the world. It's all around the world. You always see, you see these big, giant, me the base stones are these huge megalithic stones. And then somebody else comes through and they go, oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. And then they build on top of that. But it's never to the degree of precision uh, and, and ability of the, you know, the original peoples that were there. So something happened. Something happened. You know, I don't claim to know what that was. You know, but... Um, you know, what we're dealing with now in modern times is, you know, all this whitewashing and white supremacy and Arab supremacy and all this nonsense. And it just, again, it, 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 you know, if if the glove don't fit, you must have quit, right? Like, it just, like, the, the, their narrative, their, their math ain't mathing. You know, they can come on and they can, you know, talk all the shit. They can make all the racist jokes that they want. At the end of the day, their math ain't mathing. So... Anyway, if anybody has any commentary and whatnot, sorry I didn't make the video as short as I wanted to make it for you, but you know, um, I j I didn't want to hit every base. I didn't want to like leave any rock unturned. But anyway, that's all I gotta say. That's my video. SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Um, like I said, you know, as I'm talking about the stuff, you know, try to look it up as you're, you know, the like the. Freaking Tutankhamun Blossom. I think it's like the Blossom statue. Look up Queen T. I have all these images in my other Egypt videos. So you can go and you can look at them. Because essentially I would be using the same ones. The only new one in the video really is, you know, the 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 CT scan of um of um Tutankhamun. You know, and you can see, you know, from the image, you can see, you know, how his how his how his body is built it's it's a black african long ass arms long legs it's an african build but yet let them depict tutankhamun they get mad because you know nas in 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 freaking um uh denmark was it denmark i think it was denmark they had that whole egyptian event or something like that and they had beyonce as like queen nefertiti and and, and, and I do think that that's kind of silly, you know, um, you know, to have African-Americans, West African descent. I'm like, there's, there's enough black people in East Africa that they could have just used them. But I know that the Egyptians would have still been triggered. But still, like, it's like you just use them as Africans. I, I, I don't I don't see I don't see why Nas has to be, you know, you know, with the with the uh, Sphinx head. But again, you know, the, the further back you go. You know, the blacker it is. Um, and, you know, again, the Nile originates in, you know, at the borders of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Uganda. You know, and when you look at the even, you know, the 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 ancient Egyptians and where they say that they originated from, they say Ta Seti, which is land of the bow, which is in Nubia. And then even the Nubians claim that, you know, they originated, you know, from, you know, what is it like the mountain of the moon, which is again, where the Nile originates, which is going to take you all the way down by Lake Victoria and Lake Victoria. That's like a runoff, like, you know, you know, rivers start in mountains when, where there is ice caps, you know, and you got the, you got the, the blue Nile and you got the red, the white Nile, um, and again, people, you know, people live, human beings live and create their settlements by the water. So, you know, I, I mean, it's it just it, the, 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 the what's, what gets me about the Egyptians is the, the level of contempt and racism that has come forward. 
you know, uh, and and the anger, which you know, I didn't see this type of shit when when Liv Taylor was was playing, um, uh, you know, Cleopatra, or when you know um, Charlton Heston was playing Moses. We didn't see this. They didn't. Egyptians did not make this type of noise, but now they're making this type of noise because you know you have this biracial woman who who look probably looks like. You know, a number of Egyptians do today because I've already, I, you know, again, I told you I was dating that Egyptian girl. And what's so funny is she was one of these white Egyptians. She wasn't even a she wasn't even a racially ambiguous Egyptian. You know, what I mean, but, um, you know, she used to, you know, go to, um, you know, things like uh, orphanages and stuff like that. And you would see the children, you know, what I mean, beautiful children, beautiful you know what I mean? But a lot of them had, you know, way more color than Egyptian society likes to, you know, uh, portray on television. You know, again, they, they, they got that whole wanting to be white, wanting to be Arab thing. And you got quite a few people in the population. They don't look like that, you know, but they're not going to be represented. Same thing you see in Mexico. You see the same crap in Mexico. You see, you know, um, you see, uh, you know, the, when they show you the Mexicans on television, they always show you these white Mexicans, you know, the on the telenovelas and whatnot. They show you these white Mexicans. Uh, they look like white people that speak Spanish, but you never see like the real Mexicans who are very dark skinned, quiet as is kept. If you ever, you know, get into the interior of Mexico, uh, you know, they, they, they definitely have color. I didn't know that because I always saw... You know, these like sort of Corpus Christi looking Mexicans that got, you know, a little bit of European in them from somewhere. These mestizo at Mexicans. Now, nah, I'm talking about them damn Azteca looking Mexicans. They those are the ones that you're not going to see on TV. I mean, we've seen this with the crap with the, the, the black, the new Black Panther movie with the with the. The guy that was playing like the Aztec king and whatnot, and then all the Mexicans was bitching. Oh, he not reflective of the real Mexican people. He's too dark, right? The colorism popped up and shit. You know, this world is fucked up. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? Take trying to, you know, trying to whitewash everything and take the original people and, you know, tell them they need to get in the back and hide them. And no, oh, no, it, you know, white people and whiteness and light skin is supreme. You know, like it's fucked up. It's fucked up, you know, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you that. Uh, I know I went way over time, but I can't help it. You know, anyway, that's my video SWP out. Uh, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Appreciate the donation. Um, hope this is satisfactory. Uh, I tried not to use a whole bunch of, uh, profanity in the video because, you know, I know when, it, when whenever people tell me I want to play your video for somebody, can you cover this topic or whatever? Like I know typically they're giving it to a person that isn't used isn't used to my brash commentary. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's my video. SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.